everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 7th, 2022. I already feel like I have a fuzzy on my lip. I don't know, my hair is already falling down, but we're just going to do this. I'm going to start off with the cards this week and then we'll just, you know, go into the message. Um, whatever channeled message is coming through as well. Some of you are going to be really busy. And it is because we've gotten into that energy of we're going to let go. We're going to release the old way. We're going to try something new. Some of you are very excited about projects maybe that you have taken on. So let's see how that's going to go. <laughs> Obviously, if you want a personal reading to see if you're on track, to see what you need to be learning right now, angelsouls444.com. All of the links are down in the description box. Those are the valid links. All right. You can get an angelic message or an Akashic Records reading. Oh my gosh. My cards are... What is happening? <laughs> it's like weird. I started filming like all these weird things. Like literally you couldn't see it, but my, this one card deck I have next to me just started like, like somebody was pushing it, like falling, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm not asking no kind of questions. What were we talking about? Personal readings. Um, <laughs> all the links are in the description box below and also I released the Archangel Ariel meditation challenge so get over to gumroad.com slash angel souls to check that out and all of the other meditation challenges that are up good to be working with Archangels all right message 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 please thank you Queen of Ariel so there's Ariel showing up strength Ariel oh my gosh it's Ariel again <laughs> guys get over there and be checking out Ariel See what's up. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it's Gabriel, three of Gabriel. Ten of Raphael. All right. I think some good things are coming. Let's start. Let me put them in order. Boom. There we go. Queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. That's the thing. I think... Uh, you know, because we were getting all those messages about clearing away your old expectations and doing all of that. But I think by doing that, you realize, you know what, I can't, yeah, I, I think we said this before, but again, like if I want something to happen, I can't just sit around dreaming about it, hoping that it comes to fruition. I got to get up and take some practical steps to make it happen. Okay. Now, Ariel is all about material manifestation making sure your material needs are met, that you are manifesting in prosperity and abundance and all that good stuff, and being grounded in anything that you do. So if you have really big dreams, you know, I don't know, you're gonna start a bakery. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a cupcake shop. Well, you would need to have all of your permits, you would need to have inspections done, you would need to hire a staff, you need to you know, have your recipes ready to go, what's your marketing plan, you know, that sort of thing. That's where you're bringing the dreams into reality. You're letting them be born in this third dimensional ego consciousness space. Okay, and it does seem to have some sort of payoff. And then we have this, we have the number is 11, number one. And we know that 11 is that number when you see 11, 11, like, hey, wake up, it's time to manifest what you want. Ascension, a call to ascension, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this is strength, Archangel Ariel, Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. Now, this is definitely saying in order to make this stuff happen, don't be coming at things with a bad attitude. Definitely don't be whining. Right? And we all do that from time to time. Or we want to blame other people. Well, I can't do this because of this person. Or, you know, I can't move forward until I get this closure. I can't make, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. This person won't fund me, and so now I can't make this happen. And that's not the case. Whatever it is, whatever's kind of been the holdup, it feels like it's a little bit of a practical thing maybe that you've been telling yourself, and you get some clarity on that, you can move past it, and you are leaning on your strength to make things happen for you. So that is beautiful, and then here we go. It starts to happen. It starts to unfold. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. But again, be careful with that word expected. We don't want to get pulled into expectations. Yes, expectations can backfire on us <laughs> or get us looking in the wrong direction and we end up not 
seeing the full scope of things or seeing all the possibilities. Now this is Gabriel. So Gabriel is all about, in my mind, the sacral chakra. So the seat of creativity, um, emotions can be held there as well. Uh, sexuality, conception, you know, all of that. So if you have been trying to have a family, maybe you'll get some news. Uh, but also there, because I'm hearing release around that too. So if there was any, God forbid, trauma around any of those issues, um, you know, you might be finding help. You might be figuring out a way forward, okay? Uh, you are going into the future and having a vessel to take you there, basically. So this is better approach, this better way of looking at things. And again, this idea of prosperity. So prosperity arising out of creativity. So this might be you having, like, once you finally, like, kind of calm down, right? <laughs> Maybe it's been like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's coming, I don't know. But when we finally calm down and focus, right, the strength, and we realize, yeah, there are going to be steps to take, but I am fully capable of figuring it out and doing it, stuff starts to happen, right? You're finding creative solutions to issues. This can also, you know, the, the energy of Gabriel can go along with entrepreneurs, because they have to really come up with creative <laughs> creative approaches, um, being on top of that, um, you know, on top of trends as well, so that you are always fulfilling someone's need, right? Then we have 10 of Raphael. This is beautiful. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So this is, the, this is a big payoff. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this is beautiful energy. But where did the emotional fulfillment come from? Where did all of this happiness come from? The blessings. You had to clear away what you thought needed to happen. And that also means, one of them says forgiveness. Yeah, the strength card said forgiveness. So this is letting go of old fights. Yeah, old resentments. And whether that's towards an individual or towards a collective group of people, a group of people, whatever it is, it's been holding you up. Huge energy around, I have not allowed myself to be happy because I held this person or this group of people accountable for what happened in my life. And that might be the case. Somebody might have um, really sabotaged you or been unfair, unjust, you know, whatever. But this is all about realizing your power and your strength from the emotional self. And that doesn't mean getting back at people. It doesn't mean throwing the story out out there that, oh, you know, they tried to hold, hold me down and they tried to hold me down and I just moved on or whatever. I could overcome anything. It's not about that. It's not about the ego. It's I'm in charge of my happiness. And if I want to be happy, I need to take steps. If that means I have to work around someone, if I have to, you know, <laughs> just kind of avoid it. And I'm not encouraging avoidance, but I'm saying like, let's say you're in a work situation and people are just getting ridiculous and, and, and ridiculous in that, not in just how you perceive it, but really they're trying some shady stuff and you're just like, I'm not getting involved in that. I'm going to keep on with my work and do a good job. Um, don't get hung up on why do these people think this way about me? Someone out there needs to hear this. Um, if it weren't for them, I could be successful. That keeps coming up in a big way. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. We can't be blaming other people for what we feel we don't have, okay? Nor, and I've said this before, nor can we hold people responsible for making us happy or making us feel secure. All right, let's get a color card here. <laughs> Let love lead the way. And I've got this shirt on for it, right? Uh, no, this is um, trying to be embodying beauty, harmony, grace in how we approach things. Not always easy, I guess. Oh, hi, that jumped right into my hand. We'll get two of these cards. Um, but yeah, there, there's something here is like we don't have to keep fighting our way through things. Does that make sense? All right, so we have mauve, enjoy clear hearing. The number is 43. And that reduces to seven. So the angels are trying to give you some bit of information. And mostly that information is here's your path to happiness. Here's your path to opening up your entire world. You know, this is where you can get that prosperity. This is where your breakthrough moment can happen. Now, it's not about somebody else coming along and seeing worth in you, seeing you as valuable. 
and necessarily giving you the opportunity. Maybe you're creating your own opportunity. But for sure, you are being asked to change and alter how you are perceiving things and pay attention. Pay attention, especially Sandalfin. Archangel Sandalfin loves to uh, give people messages through songs or through just sounds, words. So you might hear, even if it's an instrumental song, maybe that song makes you think of a movie. And in that movie, there's this big theme going on, right? Or um, I remember, I love using this example. A long time ago, there was this thing that happened and it was just, oh, so irksome and just really got under my skin. And I was like, Ugh, so irritated by this. And <laughs> in my head, I kept hearing, let it go. That song, let it go. I hadn't even seen the movie. I, whatever, I just knew of the song and it just kept playing in my head. And I was like, okay, okay. But that's kind of rude because I am not ready to let it go. If you don't mind, Archangel Sandalfin, thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> there were some other messages that started to come through. Or, you know, you might notice, like, let's say you're thinking of someone and maybe you had a falling out with them and you're always kind of wondering, maybe you miss them, wondering what they're doing, how they're going along. Uh, there could be a, some, some song on that comes on and says, I miss you too, or, you know, the lyrics and things like that. Also looking up and seeing something on a billboard that can be any angel or archangel for that matter, but um, Archangel Seattle will do that quite a bit too. All right, let's get another card. So watch for the messages is what we're getting at here, especially with that, what was it? Yeah, the 11, the repeating numbers. If you have not seen my repeating numbers videos, I have several of them from basic to getting a little more into those. So those are available on my channel. Get on over there and check it out to see what it means for you. Whatever, you know, number combo you might be seeing. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing that we're all just kind of, that we humans, we're just trying so hard to find magic in life. And so we're reading into things a little too much sometimes. So when we talk about repeating numbers, if, you know, like if you're just seeing what you want to see, that's not a message. Like for example, when I drive, there's a place, their phone number has four, it's like whatever, whatever, four, 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 four. And I drive by it all the time and it's right in the window. Well, that's not a message. Okay. I, I know it's there. All right. So, you know, it, it's that sort of thing. So know the difference. All right. Orange, nurture yourself. Oh my gosh. The number 16 reduces to seven again. So the seven and the seven here. So angels are looking out for you, especially Archangel energy. And then it says nurture yourself. And this card says nurture yourself. So the way we nurture ourselves is by not holding on to the fight. This is so the energy of not hanging on to a grudge. And here's the sacral chakra again. That was Gabriel. Look at this. Here's the sacral chakra energy. So there is some emotional clearing that needs to be going on here. And maybe that has to do with self-worth, um, trust, you know, maybe having a hard time trusting people, whatever it is in your emotional body that needs to be released, be working on that. And I'm telling you, this is super big creative energy. So maybe you get some inspirational download, maybe some clarity around a project comes up or again, a creative solution or, you know, you're encouraged. I've been doing writing sessions after these weeklies, just go on over, find one of the, I think there's only, by the time this will go up, there'll probably still only be one, you know, writing video up, but go on over there, find it right after we premiere the weekly, sit down and, uh, if you want to write with me. Okay. <laughs> it's actually called write with me and, uh, see what comes forward for you. Something, some clarity comes through creative expression. So whatever that is for you, maybe you're somebody who, you know, you are an entrepreneur and you're working on something else. And then all of a sudden you get some realization, you know, solution to something else in your life, not necessarily work related, but you have an epiphany of sorts. So I'm telling you though, this is really I'm hearing taking off. Like some of you have projects, creative projects that are just taking off. Now, as we say that, we're not encouraging all of us to get in our ego, all right? And be like, yeah, I'm gonna be world famous and then everyone will love me. No, that's not how that works. Um, maybe people will love you, but you gotta love yourself first. 
don't be mad at me. <laughs> if you enjoyed this content, thank you so much for subscribing, hitting that notification bell, liking, sharing. It helps out a ton. And we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.